Continuing our week long series, One Week to Better Sleep. Today we are focusing on which position you sleep in and whether one is actually better than the others. Here's our Lisa Hernandez. Five, seven, nine. How many hours of sleep do you get? I go for eight every night. I normally fall asleep uh, just before midnight and I'm up at four in the morning, every morning. One in three U.S. adults gets fewer than the recommended seven to nine hours of Z's per night. From a cardiovascular standpoint, that's like saying he eats a lot of saturated fat or eats a lot of french fries. A recent study out of Harvard finds people in midlife who have a combination of sleep problems like waking up in the early hours or sleeping fewer than six hours a night may nearly triple their risk for heart disease. So is one sleeping position healthier than another? Comfortably on my back in a palace of pillows. The general consensus among sleep experts is sleeping on your back may be best. It positions your weight evenly and minimizes neck and back pain. If you have back or neck pain, don't sleep in the fetal position. It can compromise circulation and breathing. And which side is best to sleep on? Sideways, hugging a pillow. There are pros and cons. If you sleep on your left side all night, you can put strain on your liver and lungs. If you sleep on your right side all night, it can exacerbate heartburn. Bottom line, there's no perfect position. The important thing is you need to find one that helps you get the Z's your body needs. Lisa Hernandez, KPRC2 News. Sleep is also important for our brains. Harvard researchers found it helps consolidate memories that we want to preserve transferring them from short term to long term memories. Seven hours is my magic number. Oh, if I'll I can sleep get as long it. as I can. Ah, there you go. <laughs>